join us just for a moment, okay? Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the presence of family and friends to celebrate the joining of this man and this woman in marriage. There are no obligations on earth sweeter or more tender than those you are about to assume. There are no vows more solemn than those you are about to make. There is no human institution more sacred than that of the home you are about to form. True marriage is the holiest of all earthly relationships. The state of matrimony is based in this deep and visible union of two souls who seek to find completion in one another. Do you both understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. And who gives this woman in marriage? Michael does. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We are about to experience a miracle. This miracle is the joining of two lives in peace, which becomes the inspiration that forms a family. All of your moments together have led up to this exchange of vows and have prepared you as you promised to be each other's lifetime partner. This, this is a most special gift which you are about to share, which has been carefully nurtured and polished to give to one another. This gift cannot be bought in a store or found under a tree. This is the gift of love that can only be shared in marriage. May its radiance never diminish, even as the seas around us. Marriage, love is the reason. Lifelong friendship is the gift. Kindness is the cause. Until death do us part is the link. We are here to witness and to celebrate the joining of your two lives in marriage. Let us rejoice with each other in the making of this important covenant. The essence of this covenant is the taking of each other in entirety as an everlasting lover, friend, and companion. It is therefore a decision which has not been entered into lightly, but rather undertaken with great consideration and respect for one another. We have come together in the hope that the love which has brought you to, both to this union may go out beyond itself into the lives of others. Thus, we ask that your promises and hopes be realized. We ask that you both be granted the patience to listen, the capacity to understand, the compassion to give comfort, and the joy to laugh and just be together. But most importantly, let your marriage make a home where neither is a stranger. And remember, it is just as important to be the right partner as it is to choose the right partner. So let your marriage offer illumination and growth. Bask in the joy of shared discoveries. Let your union be strong enough to endure the darkness of all things. And may silence and despair never separate you. May you always return to each other. Kenneth and Karen, it is now time to exchange your vows. Kenneth first, followed then by you. I will share my life openly with you. I will walk hand in hand with you. I will grow with you, not away from you. In each of our discoveries, I will support your strength with love and honesty and protect you as we go forth together in this world as yet as two, yet as one. I will share my life openly with you. I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> <laughs> I will walk hand in hand with you. I will grow with you, not away from you. In each of our discoveries, I will support your strengths with love and honesty and protect you as we go forth together into this world as two yet as one. To you, Kenneth, take Karen to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part. I do. And Karen, do you take Kenneth to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish 
till death do you part. I do. The word of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 8 tells us what love is like and what love does. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love does not brag and it is not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own and is not provoked. It does not take into account a wrong suffered. And it does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Do you have rings? Yes. You can grab your ring too. Hang on, not yet. Oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Having this kind of love in your hearts, you have chosen to share rings as a sign and seal of the, of the vows you are making today. Let these rings, which you are about to exchange, serve to remind us that the, sun, the circle is a symbol of the sun, the earth, and the universe, of wholeness, peace, and unity. Your rings are circles which have no beginning and no ending. They are tokens of this growing relationship you have come here today to celebrate and confirm. Emblems of eternity which can never be tarnished and which are without end. To show how imperishable the faith is that you now mutually pledge together before God. So Kenneth, as a symbol of your faithfulness, please slide your ring onto Karen's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. I accept you, Karen. I accept you, Karen. As my partner. As my partner. As my friend. As my friend. And as my wife. And as my wife. Through all of the experiences life holds for us. Through all the experiences life holds for us. In abiding faith and love. In abiding faith and love. Karen, you may now slide your ring onto his finger. It's a symbol of your faithfulness. And again, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. I accept you, Kenneth. I accept you, Kenneth. As my partner, as my partner. As my friend, as my friend. And as my husband, and as my husband. Through all of the experiences life holds for us, <laughs> through all the experiences that life holds for us. In abiding faith and love, in abiding faith and love. Now allow me to share this wedding blessing with you. Be together in harmony, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Empower each other and allow your relationship to evolve to its highest purpose. Nourish each other's possibilities and lift up each other's spirits. Care for one another and share your love openly and let it be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Sing and dance together and be joyful. Share your lives with each other and unite your love with our God. May your union last through all of your moments together so that in the triumphs and trials that will surely lie ahead, you will feel just as you do now, happy to be in love and married to one another. So go then in peace and live more and more in the present, which is beautiful and stretches away beyond the limits of the past and towards the horizons of the future. Having thus witnessed the vows you have just made for each other, surrounded by your love, by the sand, by the sun and the sea of St. George Island, by the loving grace of God and by the authority vested of me, upheld by the laws of the state of Florida, I do now finally pronounce you <laughs> as husband and wife and co-captains in life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Ferguson, you may now seal your love with a kiss. like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks Darling I will be loving you And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the time
touch of a hand Well, me, I fall in love with you every single day And I just want to tell you I am So, honey, now Take me into your life Gone and my memory fades, and the crowds don't remember my name. When my hands don't play the strings the same way, mm, I know you will still love me the same. Cause, honey, your soul could never grow. 